Hi, this is Dan Grady and welcome to the Vector Sector. In this tutorial video we're going to be talking about transforming patterns within objects. Now I'm going to be assuming you already understand patterns and how to create them. Uh, we're not going to be doing that in this tutorial video. We're going to be talking about how to manipulate or transform those patterns once we've applied them to our objects. So for example, I have this rectangle over here filled with this kind of cross-hatched pattern. Um, let's say I wanted to make that pattern scaled up or larger. Well, one thing I could do is I could select the object, hit scale, and scale up that object, and that makes the pattern bigger. But what if I don't want to make that object bigger? What if I just want the pattern within that object larger? Well, there's actually a very simple way to do this. Um, it's just kind of hidden. So what we need to do is we need, if you want to scale or you want to move left or right, up, down, the pattern within the object, what you need to do is you need to bring up the transform panel. So I'm going to go up to window, transform. I'm going to delete this so it's not obstructing. Okay, this is kind of small. I'm going to upload this in HD so you could hopefully go full screen and see this okay, because this is kind of a small panel, but there's a lot within this. Okay, when you bring this up, this is what you're going to see. Actually, it might kind of be like this. Okay, even smaller. Um, on the top right here, you're going to see uh, this little flyout window. Now, go to Show Options, because um, you want to see everything. I always show options on all panels, just so you, you're not missing anything. Go to that flyout menu and select Transform Pattern Only. By default, it's going to be Transform Object Only, but we want to do transform pattern only. Okay, that's going to be the key thing to transform our pattern within our object. Okay, now I have this artwork that I created and I have this pretty intricate background that I, I put in that was actually very simple because I used a, a stock pattern that was already within the swatches of Illustrator. Well, I'm going to do this um, from scratch so you can see how we are going to be transforming this pattern. Okay, in my appearance panel, I'll always have your appearance panel up. A lot of people, a lot of illustrators don't use the appearance panel, but it's really great to see what you have applied to an object. And it's really easy to take away or hide certain things that are applied. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this fill right now. Okay, so let's say I was starting with just a black background and I wanna add the, a pattern to this. Okay. I'm going to select my background, and in the appearance panel, because we are, see I already have a fill of black, I want um, an extra fill here. So I'm going to hit the Add New Fill button at the bottom of the panel. Now you'll see I have two fills. On this top fill, the one that's on top of the layer stack, I'm going to add the pattern that I want. Okay, you can see it just applied right now. It's going to look a little crazy. Just bear with me here. Okay. Now, this pattern is too small for my taste. I feel like if we zoom out here and look at this artwork, that pattern is just, to me, a little too small and a little hard on the eyes. So I want to make that larger without making my background bigger. So with that selected, I'm gonna bring up the transform panel here and making sure I have transform pattern only, I'm going to link the width and the height and I'm just going to put in something random. I'll put 1,000 points, hit tab to apply, see how I like that. Um, that's pretty good. That, that's As you can see, that scaled up the pattern inside of out, scaling up the object. Um, but I want it a little larger than that. So I'm going to, on the width, put in another 1,000. And that's the size that I like right there. Um, that's really all you have to do. Um, there's also options to be able to rotate. I'll show you really quickly what I mean here. Okay, now you can see my pattern rotated, but my object on the outside stayed the same. I like it how it was though, so we can keep it like that. There's also options for shear, um, or also if you unlink the width and the height, you could transform those independently. Okay, and that's the main thing for the effect. It's really simple, but it could really help. Um, it's just kind of hidden. You wouldn't you wouldn't think it could be in the hidden the transform panel, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I wanna bring it back to that darker color I had for the background. So I'm gonna select the background um, and I'm going to go over to the appearance panel and in its opacity, I'm gonna do, um, difference will probably work and I'm gonna put down the opacity a lot. Okay, I'm gonna try 15, that should be perfect. Okay, there we go. Now we have a really neat background that looks very intricate that was made very easily within Adobe Illustrator. Remember those things, if you ever need to transform a pattern within an object, bring up the transform panel and you can find that option in the transform panels flyout menu. Okay, thank you very much.